What's up YouTube? I hope each and every one of you guys are healthy and achieving at least one of your goals today. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the 2023 Maserati Gricale Modena. Huge thank you to Nick Zaimi over at Safford Maserati of Tyson's Corner, Virginia for allowing me to do this video for you guys today. If you are interested in this particular Gricale or any Maserati or Alfa Romeo product, I'll be sure to have Nick's information on screen as well as in the description box down below. But with that said, let's get into the video. All right, well, just like I always do, first, let's talk about the exterior and the performance. So like I said, this is a 2023 Maserati Gricale Modena, and this particular one has been painted in Bianco. Bianco is just the Italian word for white. But one of the first things I wanted to say is that for 2023, the Gricale is an all new model to the Maserati lineup. And in my opinion, I think it's a pretty sharp looking SUV. But just like I always do, we're gonna start with the headlights, then we'll work way to the front and then the side and then into the back end of the exterior. So as standard with the Modena, you get LED headlights with automatic high beams as well as LED daytime running lights and LED turn signals. But taking a step back, let's take in the entire front end of the Gricale. So obviously you can see at the center of your front end, you get a massive gloss black grille with your Maserati logo located at the center of that. I think it is super classic Maserati styling and it gives a very aggressive look uh, to you know people who are driving on the opposite lanes of traffic. Beautiful, beautiful front grille, very aggressive grille. Uh, but just above and to the left of your Maserati crest is where you will find a forward facing camera. So this particular vehicle has been optioned with the $800 360 degree view camera system. So not only do you get the forward facing camera but with that package, you also get the cameras on your side view mirrors as well. I'll get into that when we get into uh, you know that part of the exterior. But then you also get satin black lower and outer grills that are kind of like a mesh type of design. So you get that here, you get that on the outside and then obviously on that outside as well. And then all three of those grills also get some gloss black accent color trim. So this is the gloss black trim on the lower grill. This is the gloss black trim on the outer grill and then the same thing goes for this side as well that gloss black trim all the way on the outsides of your front end and then one thing i also wanted to say is that you get six forward facing sensors as standard um, on the modena so i'll point those out to you now so you can see that's one two three and then you get another three one two three on this side as well obviously again i love the design of this thing um it's just it's very almost classic but it's very aggressive at the same time but last but not least you also get 7.9 inches of ground clearance with the modena but now working our way down the side you get Ooh, i think that guy just passed that guy uh on i think that was a f pace svr anyways back into the video you get body color wheel arch moldings and then you also get skyhook performance suspension with electronic damping with the modena and then as you can see these wheels are beautiful and these are the optional $1,800 21 inch matte Creo wheels and they are wrapped in 255 40 in the front and 295 35 continental cross contact RX tires in the back. You also get gloss black brake calipers with the white Maserati script. That's a closer look at that. If you do not like the black brake calipers, they do have a couple different color options. And then if you do not like these wheels, I believe there is one other wheel option other than these wheels and the standard wheels but coming up just a little bit you can see you get the gloss black modena badging on your fenders and then you can see just beneath that you get the mix of the gloss black and the silver trim for your fender vents you have those three fender vents right there i cannot confirm nor deny if those are functional or not i tried to check it out but I couldn't quite see uh, if they were or if they weren't. But honestly, I can feel a little bit of heat dissipating out of there. So I'm gonna go with that those are functional. But this particular vehicle has been optioned with the $3,500 Premium Plus package, and that gives you the heated windshield washer nozzles. So basically, the nozzles that spray the windshield wiper fluid uh, are heated, so they're not gonna you know clog up in the winter time when they're frozen, stuff like that, because they are, again, heated. You can see that blue hue um, to to the windows that's very very s-class like i love it very premium now working our way into these side view mirrors you get body color mirror caps with integrated turn signals these side view mirrors are heated 
power folding, both side view mirrors are auto dimming. You get your blind spot monitoring on the left hand side of your driver side mirror and on the right hand side of your passenger side mirror. Then all the way at the bottom of your side view mirror, you get a puddle light. And again, this particular vehicle has been optioned with the $800 360 degree view camera system. So you also get the side view cameras on the sides of your side view mirrors as well as the front camera. Now, let's do a little side profile shot of the Gricale again. Love the way that this thing looks. It's just got a very classy design to it, but you get gloss black window trim as you may be able to tell. And then one thing that's kind of interesting is that you get the silver accent trim on your door handles, but they're not your conventional door handle. So basically, obviously they get keyless access. All you gotta do is stick your hand underneath here and you'll feel for a little pad. All you do is pull on that pad and the doors will open up. If you wanted to lock the vehicle, you can see those three hash marks right there. Put your finger on that, the vehicle locks. You can tell the vehicle locks when the side view mirrors fold in. Now, coming all the way to the bottom, you do get body color rocker moldings. However, you do get some gloss black trim on those rocker moldings. And I think that gloss black trim accents all the gloss black trim on the Modena very, very nicely. Again, that gloss black trim is about right there. I'll try to get you a better shot of that right here. That's a better shot right there so you can actually see it. Now working our way to the rear end, you can see you get the gloss black Maserati crest right here. To open up your fuel door, all you gotta do is actually you have to have the vehicle unlocked in order to open that up right there. So now with the vehicle unlocked, this is accessible. So this is what it looks like. You do not get a capless filler neck. 91 octane plus is required. Um, so you can see it says Ron 95. That equates to 91 octane here in the united states thought i might point that out and then up top here you get a gloss black shark fin antenna as well as you get a body color and a gloss black two-tone roof spoiler as you can see on screen right now you get your integrated third brake light right there rear window defroster that is your rear wiper and then obviously come on you get led tail lights back here one thing i wanted to say is that the back end really reminds me of if the Porsche Cayenne and the Mercedes GLE had a baby, this would be the back end of that baby. I love it. I think it takes the best of both of those two vehicles and I think it just looks absolutely really, really good. Again, my personal opinion, let me know what you think in the comments below. But then working our way to the back end, you get some silver trim and some silver badging with your Maserati lettering, your Gricale lettering. Then you get that silver trim at the center of your lift gate. Just beneath your S right there is where you will find your backup camera. Again, that backup camera works with your 360 degree view camera system. And then just to the right of that backup camera, you'll feel a little pad. If you press on that pad, the power lift gate will begin to open up. That's as fast as it goes up. Then this particular vehicle has been optioned with the $100 lift gate sensor. So basically, I do believe that that is a hands-free lift gate. You can correct me below, uh, but I do believe that that is what that uh, option is for 100 bucks. Now, opening up the trunk, you can see we got a lot, a lot of stuff going on back here. So this vehicle has been optioned with the $406 Gracali accessories. So basically what you get with that include the luggage compartment mat, the luggage net, the first aid kit, the umbrella, the valve stem caps, and a microfiber cloth. This uh, cargo cover right here does come standard. So basically when it is pulled out, you cannot, or thieves can't see the contents of which what you have in your trunk. And then you can open this thing up, lift that up. And then you have a tire inflator kit right there. You also have your tow hook, uh, but you do not get a spare tire with this vehicle. Thought I might uh, share that with you who are wondering. And then I would say if you took this uh, cargo cover out, I could say you could probably fit, you know, six carry on suitcases back here. If you stacked three on each side, maybe a little bit more, maybe seven or eight. That would be my estimate. And then you also get uh, LED lights in your uh, power lift gate as well. Press it on that button and the lift gate will begin to drop again. A couple other things coming down a little bit you get a body color rear bumper with six integrated sensors so you get a sensor there 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 and then obviously another three on that side you also get two reflectors back here as well as a gloss black rear balance and a black quad tip exhaust system get a little bit closer to see that right there you can see that on that side as well you get a pretty aggressive rear diffuser if that's going to pick up on camera and then last but not least, you also get a mechanical limited slip differential, which is awesome because it seems like nowadays everything is an electronic limited slip differential. And honestly, I like a good old mechanical limited slip differential. I think it's just bulletproof. 
But anyways, let me know what you think of the 2023 Gricale in the comments down below. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Let me know what you think of the design below. But with that stuff out of the way, let's move into performance. Popping open that hood reveals that two liter turbo four cylinder that makes 325 horsepower and 332 pound feet of torque. It is mated to an eight speed ZF automatic transmission for a zero to 60 time in five seconds. If you were wondering about fuel economy, you can achieve 22 miles per gallon in the city, 29 miles per gallon on the highway for 25 miles per gallon combined with all wheel drive. I think those fuel economy numbers are outstanding, especially considering the kind of pep that this vehicle has and considering the size of it. So. Really, really good fuel economy for the kind of power that this thing has. I know that horsepower and torque number, yeah, while it sounds really good and it just doesn't sound crazy in today's day and age, but really, it's got really, really good get up and go. But if you're enjoying the video so far today, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button. I'm on my journey to 100,000 subscribers and I cannot get there without your support. So if you've enjoyed this video in any sort of capacity, I would really appreciate it. If you take one second, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. But with that stuff said, let's move into the interior. All right, like I said earlier on in the video, you do get keyless access. All you gotta do is have your key fob in your pocket, walk up to the vehicle, put your hand behind the door handle and pull back and the vehicle will unlock. You can also lock the vehicle by running your finger across those couple hash marks right there and now the vehicle is locked. I did wanna show you what the key fob looked like. So it is a leather wrapped key fob down the center. Then you get like some satin silver trim on both sides. It's a very premium feeling key fob. It's got a nice weight to it. You have your lock function at the top, unlock function, power lift gate function, and your panic function all the way at the bottom. Again, very nice feeling and looking key fob. But let's move into the interior. So again, key fob in your pocket, put your hand behind the door handle and the vehicle will unlock. I guess I gotta unlock it again. But now let's take a look at what the driver's side door panel has to offer. So this particular vehicle has been optioned with the $3,400 full premium leather upholstery. So basically leather touch points everywhere on the door panel. So at the top, black leather. And then just beneath that, this vehicle has also been optioned with the $1,700 3D carbon fiber trim. So you can see, it's basically like exposed carbon fiber. It looks awesome, it feels awesome. And that is what that is right there. This vehicle has also been optioned with the $3,500 premium plus package, which gives you the 21 speaker Sonos sound system. That's what it looks like, beautiful speaker surrounds there. And then also included in that package are the 14 way sport power seats with driver seat memory. I'll get into that here in a second. But again, all of this leather wrapped. Coming over to here, you have your side view mirror controls. If you twist that all the way back, that will power fold in your side view mirrors. Go back out that way, that's gonna power fold them right back out. Automatic up and down windows at all four corners. Pressing on this button is gonna restrict your passenger window privileges. And then it's also a child lock for your second row door. So when that button is activated, the second row uh, passengers cannot open up the door from the interior. Then this is your lock button. This is your unlock button. You get a nicely padded armrest. This is actually how you open up the vehicle. So it's basically like a button and that will unlock the hatch or the latch and that will open up the door. If let's say your battery dies when you are in the vehicle, you have the emergency release for your door handle right there. So you just pull up on that and it's basically like a manual door handle. Otherwise you would use that button there. And then you get a little bit of miscellaneous storage space at the bottom of your door panel. And again, beautiful speaker surround right there. Then you get a beautiful brushed aluminum Maserati door sill right there. Again, these are the 14 way sport power seats. Again, the driver's seat does get the memory function. The passenger seat does not get the memory function. One thing that's really nice about these seats that I'm gonna point out here, and I'm also gonna point out again in here in a little bit, is that these bolsters on the side will either, if you're skinny, they will come in and make it a nice, you know, tightly bolstered seat. But if you're on the thicker side, if you push a button on this screen right here, they will start going out and make it a little bit easier for you to sit in the seat comfortably. So you can either bring these bolsters in or you can extend them out for uh, you know those thicker people. And then you also get a manual thigh extension right here. All you gotta do is pull that out and then that thigh extension will come out or it will go in. But now stepping on into the interior, this is what your steering wheel looks like. One thing I love about the Maseratis and the Alfa Romeos is that your push button start button is on your steering wheel. So if I press this button right here, take a listen to what it sounds like when it fires up.
for a four cylinder i gotta say i think it sounds pretty good all right well now we're gonna start over here then we'll work our way throughout the dash and then into those rear seats so coming down here this is where you will find your electronic parking brake you can see right now the parking brake is engaged because that white light lights up if you want to disengage your emergency brake push your foot down on the brake push on that and then that will disengage that light goes away uh, letting you know that the parking brake is disengaged now coming back out this is what your beautiful steering wheel looks like but first let's take a listen to our turn signal that is what your turn signal sounds like on the Grigale. Now, leather wrapped steering wheel, obviously this is a Maserati. Obviously at the center of your steering wheel, that is where you'll find your horn. So let's take a listen to that horn. That is what the horn sounds like on the Grigale. So, like I said, this is a leather wrapped steering wheel, but this particular vehicle, again, has been optioned with the $3,500 premium plus package. And with that package, you get a heated leather steering wheel. You also get the ventilated front seats, the tri-zone climate control system, the heated rear seats, the 21 speaker sound system, and these 14 way sport power seats, uh, as well as, you know, the heated windshield wiper nozzles. But again, that's what your turn signal stock looks like. If you have this button on the end of your turn signal stock, when you click on that, that turns your active lane management system on or off. Obviously, that's also your high beam control stock as well. Right now, the automatic high beams are on. One thing I love about this vehicle are these massive, beautiful aluminum um, paddle shifters. Downshift paddle on the left-hand side of the steering wheel, upshift paddle on the right-hand side of the steering wheel. They look awesome. And for me personally, I like a steering column mounted paddle shifter. I feel like when the steering wheel's turned, you can just always hit it. And it's just something that I personally really, really like. Now, this is your stop start button on the left-hand side of your steering wheel. Then these arrows here are to control this screen at the center, but those also control uh, a couple other things. So I'll get into that here in a second, but clicking on this button right here is gonna bring up a couple different things on your tachometer. So you can either go in between your media stuff, your ambient exterior temperature, your time and your date, or you can just have a calm screen right there. So those are your three functions for that. Um, and then you also have this button right here, which will bring you into some quick action. So you can go into your recent calls, you can go into the cluster layout, which can either be classic, evolved or relaxed. One of those three, let's see what evolved looks like. This is evolved here. Go back over to that one more time. We'll go into that and then I'll show you what the relaxed screen looks like. So this is now your relaxed relaxed screen, but I'm gonna walk you throughout the classic screen um, because I might as well just do that because that's what displays most. But anyways, back over to here, you have these different arrows and these different arrows control what's going on in that center screen. I'll get into that here in a second. I wanna go throughout the steering wheel uh, controls first. So this is to pick up on a phone call. This is to hang up on a phone call. This is to speak to the vehicle. This is to start or stop the vehicle. Now, coming over to the right-hand side of your steering wheel, this particular vehicle has been optioned with the $3,100 Driver Assist Plus Package, which basically gives you the Intelligent Speed Assist, which is the speed limiter, which is what this button does right here. Speed limiter is ready. Press that button again, the speed limiter turns back off. That package also includes traffic sign recognition. So you can see that uh, lets you know what the speed limit is right there. That package also includes adaptive cruise control with stop and go, as well as intersection collision assist, active driving assist, active lane management, and your blind spot monitoring and the drowsy driver detection. So anyway, adaptive cruise control settings on the right-hand side of the steering wheel. And then this is your drive mode selector. When you twist to the right, you can go out between your different uh, drive modes. So you have comfort mode, GT mode, and sport mode. However, when you get put into sport mode, you can hear the exhaust get uh, a little bit more aggressive sounding. So back into GT mode, quiets down. Back into sport mode, gets a little bit louder and more aggressive sounding. And then let's say you're in sport mode, you want that snappy throttle response, but you don't quite want the harsher ride of the adaptive damper suspension. You would click this suspension looking button right here, and then you're in sport mode, but your suspension mode is not in sport mode. So it's not as firm of a ride. So that is what that button does right there. Um, I would either drive in GT or sport mode, one of the two, obviously, uh, you know, this is a sporty-ish vehicle, so it might be fun to drive in sport mode every now and then. But now working our way into this screen, this is the 12.3 inch digital driver display. On the left-hand side, you have your tachometer. On the right-hand side, you have your speedometer. At the center, you have your digital speedometer readout. That's letting us know the auto stop start system is off. That's our traffic sign recognition, basically telling me what the speed limit is. Current time, 
that is the um, coolant temperature gauge down here. And then beneath that, that's letting me know that my automatic high beams are on. Coming over to here, that's the uh, lane keeping system off. That's letting me know that I am unbuckled. That's our fuel range, that's our fuel gauge. Right over here uh, is your transmission status stuff. I think I pointed this out, but that's your ambient exterior temperature. And again, that's kind of about it for just that main home screen. Now, to control this center screen here, you have these arrows. So clicking down one will bring me into my navigation screen. Clicking down one more will bring me into my performance stuff. One more time will bring me into my driver assistant stuff. Then you get your stored messages, you get your uh, fuel range and so on and so forth, or not fuel range, well actually I guess that is your uh, fuel economy. Coming down one more time, you have your digital speedometer readout. And that's again, kind of about it for that screen. Coming up just a little bit, I'm not sure if the GoPro is gonna pick it up, but again, this particular vehicle has been optioned with, or not again, this vehicle has been optioned with the $1,100 tech assistance package, which gives you the head-up display and the wireless charging pad. So right now, the head-up display is right here and it's displaying the digital speedometer readout. It's displaying the speed limit sign and then it is also displaying a navigation screen. And then that's kind of about it for that head-up display system, but you can see uh, it's up there. If you wanted to turn that off, you would click this button right here. You can click down two to head up display, click that and now the head up display system is off. Press that button one more time and the head up display system turns back on. Now that you can see it is on. Like I said, this vehicle has been optioned with the $3,400 full premium leather upholstery. So you do get a leather wrap dash. It feels very, very premium. One thing I love about this vehicle, and it's just a small touch, you get the digital clock right here. Awesome, I love, I love this digital clock. I think it is really, really cool. You get two HVAC vents, uh, vents beneath that. And then beneath that, this is your 12 inch infotainment system with wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto. This is essentially a Uconnect 5 system. But on the left-hand side of the screen, you have your shortcut buttons being your home button, your media button, your navigation button, your CarPlay button, your vehicle button, and your apps button. I'm gonna go into the home screen. This is what your home screen looks like. Swiping over, um, you can add some different widgets. That's the ambient exterior temperature. That's the current time. And then right here, it would display uh, what song I was playing because I am connected to Apple CarPlay. Um, back into this, this is your home screen. Coming down one, this is your media screen. You can go between your different sources here. You can browse, you can go into your audio settings, which is basically like your bass uh, and so on and so forth. Turn surround sound on, all these different things you can do with the fancy Sonus sound system. Come down one more time, you get your navigation stuff, then you get your Apple CarPlay stuff, then you can go in between your different vehicle stuff. This is what your uh, vehicle thing looks like right here. Um, so you can go in between, uh, let's see, electric vehicle, performance stuff, that's what your performance stuff. You can go between all these different things here. Drag race, um, zero to 60, it'll count your zero to 60, zero to hundreds, uh, quarter mile, braking distance, um, all that kind of stuff. You can go between some different accessory gauges here, oil temperature gauges, torque management stuff, um, a lot of different things that you can do uh, on this screen. Going up one more, you can go into your technical gauges, turbo, torque, and oil pressure, controls, um, settings, so on and so forth. So here are all your different vehicle settings. I'm just gonna show you the general settings. Clicking down, that's one screen, two screen, and that's kind of about it for those settings there. And then coming all the way down, you have your apps button, which will bring you into this screen. So you have your favorites, which is what's here. You go into your recent stuff, which is here. You can go into your categories, which is media, nav, phone, vehicle, and then all the way over here, um, you have your, um, all of them, all your different apps here. So a couple apps, that's one screen, that's your second screen third screen and then that is your fourth and final screen now coming down just a little bit this is your transmission uh, like basically gear shifter so push button right now we're in park push your foot on the brake push R to go into reverse then that pops up your 360 cam and your backup camera push N neutral and then if you wanted to go into manual mode you click drive click one more time and then the M gets highlighted so now we are in manual mode I can control the transmission with the steering wheel mounted paddle shifters pretty cool one thing that's also pretty cool is that you get this little Maserati thing right here it doesn't really do much but it just looks very very nice and then hazard button this is going to turn that screen off I believe right there um, see the screen is off Press that button again, that screen will turn right back on. And then over here, this is for your volume control, so you get a volume up like that. 
volume down like that, and then that is to instantly mute the audio system there. This is an 8.8 inch intelligent assistant screen. Um, so you can see this clock button right here. I can change my clock into a compass. So now it's a compass. I can go into pedals. So basically, the more that I give it power, this will highlight. The more breaks I give it, that will highlight. And then, or I can have it be a G meter. But I kind of like the clock. I think it looks classy. And then you can go in between your different seat stuff. So like I mentioned, I can bring the bolsters closer to me. So if I press that, the bolsters are now getting tighter. You can hear them. I'm very, I'm kind of skinny. So they are basically, now I'm nice and hugged. I feel like I can do some very serious performance driving. However, let's say I'm on the thicker side. Um, you know, I can click this minus button right here. And then that's gonna retract and it's gonna give me a lot more uh, kind of room side to side in the seat. So yeah, if you're thicker, you can be comfortable. If you're skinnier and you want some thick or you want your bolstering to be nice and tight, that would be the button you would press. Again, you have your uh, driver or memory seat adjustment settings for your driver right there that comes a part of the premium plus package. Uh, and then again, heated seats come standard with this, but the ventilated seats and the heated steering wheel come a part of that premium plus package as well. Heated and ventilated seats both get three levels of adjustability there, and that's your heated steering wheel button. Then you can go in between your different headlight controls here. Headlight controls are controlled throughout the screen, so that's headlights automatic, that is headlights always on, that is parking lights on, and then that is headlights off. Coming over here, you can control the rear temperature controls. You can also turn the heated outboard second row seats on uh, with these buttons here. Again, both get three levels of adjustability. This also does get ambient lighting, so you can adjust the brightness of the ambient lighting. You can make it warm, you can make it neutral, you can make it cold, uh, dependent on you know what you want it to be. Um, so you can see it, it'll change. I'm not sure if the GoPro is gonna pick this kind of stuff up. Um, but yeah, you can also turn the ambient lighting off if you wanted to as well. And then down here, uh, basically that's your max defroster, rear defroster. That is to turn your parking sensors on or off. That is to turn your um, auto stop start system on or off. That is your hill descent control. And then that is to turn ESC off. And then underneath that, again, with that uh, tech assistance package, you get your wireless charging pad. So your wireless charging pad is located down there. This is what your climate control stack looks like. You can turn that back off. Press that button right there, climate control system turns back on. That's what it looks like when it is on. Uh, again, tech assistance package, wireless charging pad. Down here, I have an iPhone 14 Pro Max and it fits down in there, no problem. You can see it fits in there. And then again, a part of that uh, $1,700 3D carbon fiber trim, you get some carbon fiber trim here. Opening this up, you get a USB-C port and a USB-A port down in there, both of which are illuminated. You can also sit your key fob down in there if you wanted to as well. Two cup holders right here. Right now I have my uh, water bottle in there and it fits in there, no problem. Nicely padded and leather wrapped armrest opening this up down in here. If let's say your key fob battery dies, you'd set your key fob down in there and the vehicle will still start up because it can read the chip on the key fob. Then you also get a 12 volt power outlet down in there as well. If you can see that on camera right there. And kind of about it for what we got going on in there. I would say about 35% of my forearm fits in there. So decent amount of room in there, just not the most that I've ever seen in a vehicle of this size. Again, all of this down here is leather wrapped. You get some stitching there, it looks fancy. You get a lockable lower glove box, good amount of storage space in that lower glove box as well. This is what that seat looks like over there. Auto dimming rear view mirror, obviously. Coming up a little bit, the uh, Modena does come standard with the panoramic roof. So here are your panoramic roof controls. You can slide the roof, you can tilt the roof, and then this button right here is gonna bring the shade all the way back so you can get quite a bit of uh, distance there. I'll show you that once that goes all the way. Then you have your different lights right there. I'm gonna bring it all the way back. Uh, driver light, get passenger, passenger and driver both get individual lights. That is to pop open your trunk. Then these are like your roadside assistance functions. This is gonna turn on all your interior dome lights as you can see. Um, and then this button right here is whether you want the lights to turn on when you open and or close the door. And then this is what the sunroof looks like. I'm gonna open it up because why not? And as that opens up, universal garage door opener right here. Opening this up, you also get a vanity mirror with a vanity light. Why does that not wanna? Okay, so that's as far as the sunroof uh, actually opens up. I'm gonna close that back up. Then do a little clip right here. You can set money registration or any little paper product. And then these slide forwards and backwards dependent on where the sun is. Driver gets an Opu handle. Front passenger also gets an Opu handle. And that's kind of summarizes it for these front seats. I do wanna go over uh, the different 
you know, packages that this vehicle has. So again, this has the $3,400 full premium leather upholstery, leather everywhere pretty much. Uh, also $1,700 $1, 3D carbon fiber trim, the $3,500 premium plus package, the Sono sound system, the sport seats, the ventilated front seats, the heated steering wheel, tri-zone climate control, the heated rear seats, and the heated windshield washer nozzles. This also has the $3,100 driver assistance package, which gives you the adaptive cruise control with stop, active lane management, drowsy driver detection, and everything else you see on screen. Last but not least, this also has the $1,100 tech assistance package, which gives you the head-up display and the wireless charging pad. A couple features that uh, I think I should highlight that come standard with the Modena include the panoramic roof, the 12.3 inch digital dash, the 12 inch infotainment system with the wireless CarPlay and the wireless Android Auto, and then last but not least, also the 8.8 .8 inch intelligent assistance screen. Now I'm gonna throw the entire window sticker on screen. You guys can read over whatever you want to, the different options, all the different standard stuff, the fuel economy stuff, but basically I am just gonna highlight the MSRP. So the MSRP of the way that this particular 2023 Grecale Modena is spec is $92,301. However, this one is selling under MSRP. Um, so I do wanna show you what we got going on in these rear seats before we move into the driving portion of the video. So let's see what the rear has to offer here with the Gricale. So just like the front, the rear door panel looks very similar. Um, let's see how far this rear window goes down. It goes all the way down, as you can see. Speaker surround up top here, carbon fiber trim. Uh, you have your unlock and your lock functions, nicely padded armrest, another speaker, and some miscellaneous storage space. Brushed aluminum door sill. You can also drop these second row seats. It goes fold flat. That is what that looks like there. This is what your seats look like. Now, stepping on into these rear seats. You get a seat back pocket behind the driver's seat. You get a seat back pocket behind the passenger seat. You get those heated outboard second row seats with, I believe it's the Premium Plus package. Two HVAC vents here. Coming down, you get a USB-A port. You get a USB-C port. I'm gonna close that door here. Then up top here, you get an OPU panel, a spot you can set your dry cleaning and a dome light. Over here, same exact thing. One thing I love is that you can see kind of like the blue hue on your windows. So just like you get kind of like in an S class, it's kind of like that same blue tint um, that you get back here rather than like the charcoal tint that you see in like every other vehicle. So that's a nice premium touch here in the Maserati. Opening this up, you get two cup holders and a spot you could set a phone and obviously you get a nicely padded armrest. This is what my view is from my eye level looking out the pano roof. This is what my view from the eye level looks like looking out the uh, windshield. And then last but not least, I am adjusted behind myself. I am five foot nine. I have a ton of knee room, a ton of leg room. There's another view of that and a quite a bit of headroom left over. I'd say maybe four or five inches, maybe three to five inches of headroom left over. But you know, we've talked about the exterior, we've talked about the performance, and now we've talked about what's going on here in the Recale Modena. So. I wanna see what this thing's like to drive as I'm assuming you guys do as well. So I will see you guys in the driver's seat. All right, now onto the driving portion. Take a listen. Sounds pretty dang good for a four cylinder. I gotta admit, I think this might be the best sounding four cylinder that I have ever heard. And I'm not just saying that, I truthfully do mean that. And if this motor isn't enough for you, you can get the next trim level up and you can get a V6 that makes over 520 horsepower. But, you know, let's take a listen to what this thing sounds like in sport mode, shall we? And then I'm also gonna put it into manual mode because why not? So let's take a listen to what the paddle shifter response is like. You hear those beautiful crackles in between shifts? Yeah, this is a Maserati after all. So you can hear these nice crackles in between shifts. And I think you would be surprised when driving this just how peppy this was because I in fact was. The first time I drove this, I was like, dang, this thing honestly surprised me because when they told me it was a four cylinder, I was like, what? And as soon as I got behind the wheel of it, I was like, this does not feel like a four cylinder. I mean, you can tell it's a four cylinder just by like, kind of like the sound. Um, but that's, that's not a negative because again, this is a good sounding four cylinder. And I know you can be like, there's no such thing as that. But honestly, truthfully, this thing sounds really good. And honestly, the low end torque of this also uh, is very good as well. So let's do a nice little acceleration here. such 
sweet little burbles upon the upshifts. It sounds insane and I would love to hear what this thing sounds like from the exterior. All right, please excuse that brief intermission. I had to put the dealer plate back on. I took it off because um, just doing like the exterior part of the video, uh, it makes the video look better when there is no dealer tag on the back, just kind of in the way of the rear valence. So let's do a nice little acceleration here, shall we? Sounds awesome upon upshifts. I mean, it's just a really great sounding SUV. And I am honestly shocked that Maserati got a four cylinder to sound this good and be this peppy. And I am truthfully saying that I am pleasantly surprised just how good, not only that this thing drives, but how much pep that it has. And also when you're in just GT mode, you can tell a massive difference between GT mode uh, with the suspension between sport mode and GT mode. Now let's do another little acceleration here to about 60. Great acceleration. You know, I will be honest with you. I'm gonna put you back in, or put us back into GT mode. And now we're just gonna cruise how a lot of you, I think will be cruising just to, from home to work and stuff. But I gotta be honest, I am pleasantly surprised just how powerful this thing is, but how two-faced it can be at the same time. Because listen, not only can it be very aggressive suspension wise and you know go over or go around turns very well and then also just be able to mess with the paddle shifters get that good quick response with the paddle shifters it can also just be a gt cruiser suv that's going to get you to from work very very comfortably the seats are very very comfortable i love how you can adjust the bowl string here's what it sounds like at 60 miles an hour with the wind noise and the road noise As you may be able to tell, it is very well insulated from the outside world. Very, very well insulated from the outside world. I mean, it is a Maserati after all. Um, and it just, it handles really well. It's very comfortable. Sound system is great. It bumps. Um, it's just a really great SUV, honestly, all around. Um, it looks great. It performs great. Sounds great. Uh, and it's just a, it's it's fun to drive. And that's what's great about this, like for a daily driver is that I think it would be fun to drive, not only because of those burbles in between shifts and stuff like that, but also just because it's, it's quick. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and it's also comfortable. It's very comfortable to drive. It's not too big. It's not too small. Um, it's just a good size for an SUV that you would be daily driving. It's just a very nice place to be here on the interior as well. Um, and it's got, good power to get up and out of somebody's way or to pass somebody who's going slow but uh yeah that's it for today's video if you guys did enjoy the video please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up please hit that subscribe button like i said i'm on my journey to 100,000 subscribers and i cannot get there without your support so if you've enjoyed this video in any sort of capacity give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button but again that's it for today's video i will catch you all in the next one peace